guys, I feel like it's been a really long time since I've sat down to film a haul video, just a pure good old fashioned OG haul video. This is gonna be from some of my and probably your favorite brands, like just the classic high street places, um, which is H&M and Primark. And then I've got a few little beauty and fun gifts as well towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. I've got some fun holiday bits that I picked up um, on holiday. That made no sense. I've got a few little gifts I bought for myself on holiday. I did have some fashion items, but I showed them a lot in my holiday vlogs. So you can see what I bought there. I bought a really cute dress and kaftan. I forgot that word earlier, I called it a dress. I bought a really colorful kaftan and a really pretty purple blouse. So that is gonna be heavily featured on my Instagram and in the vlogs for my holiday. Today's going to be Primark first and then one piece, not H, yes, H&M and also Mango. I forgot to say that, but it'll be in the title of the video. I also have one piece from Mango and a fun beauty item that I think a lot of you will be interested to see. So you wanna stay tuned for that and do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, especially if you're new here and this is the type of video you like. I will have much more of this content coming up on a regular basis. So you wanna join my channel so you can stay tuned for that. And now without further ado, I'm going to start the haul portion. And I'm gonna start with Primark because I got the cutest things from there, in my opinion. A lot of really fun bits that I'm excited to try out and wear on holiday. Um, and yeah, you can't go into Primark without buying at least three items. I feel like that's just a general rule. This is a pair of shorts that is more of like a fun, comfy day-to-day -day piece, but I love the color. They're in this light pink and I'm also gonna wear them, I think, kind of like travel wear. Is that, a, is that a thing? Airport wear, like to and from uh, my holidays. It's just comfy and cozy and I did get extra small, but they look pretty, they look quite, um, not baggy, but like more looser fitting. Obviously they cinch in a little around the waist and hip area here, but extra small, this was like, I was like, did they mislabel this? Cause normally I wouldn't buy an extra small for bottoms cause that would be really tight on me. So yeah, it's to considered a size six to eight, but I think it's in that style of being like baggy, loose fitting athleisure style where it's not supposed to obviously be form fitting. So yeah, this is what they look like. Just a plain pair of shorts, but not so plain in my opinion. I think they have a nice material, like a joggers material, um, if that makes sense. What is it? It's probably not fully cotton. Um, yeah, definitely not fully cotton, probably quite mainly polyester. Let me quickly see what they say here. Well, it does say 35% cotton, so I think that's why they have this really, really nice, soft, comfy feel to them. And they don't look particularly sheer. You can also tighten them here if they do happen to be a little loose fitting on you. So I like that they're a little bit adjustable and they actually have real pockets. So that is a rarity for women's wear, but yeah, I got a size extra small and the price of this was seven pounds. So I thought I'd go for a fun, somewhat feminine piece, but still wearable because it's such a light pink shade that I do think it would match with almost any other color for a top or hoodie or whatever the case may be. So I didn't actually get that many pieces from Primark. I only got three items. I'm pretty sure I only got three. Yeah, I only picked up three items. So I was very, very good this time. But next is an accessory and it's going along with my Little Mermaid kind of Disney obsession lately. And it is just a, one of those claw clips. But the reason I picked up this one is, I'm always on the hunt for these. It's, you can never have too many stocked up. Um, but it is a really large one. It will probably fit my entire hair, cause my hair's quite long. My hair like wrapped, kind of wrapped in like a half bun and then tied up across at the back, if that makes any sense what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, because my hair's quite long, like when I fold it in half, it will still be quite large. So I wanted um, a clip that would fit all my hair. It's not gonna fall out. It's not gonna, you know, come loose or anything. So yeah, it's also got this really, really pretty iridescent kind of holographic, um, color to it where it's almost like multicolored if you can see that so i thought that was really pretty i can wear it anywhere it's perfect for summertime it's got kind of that seashell magical under the water kind of theme to it as well like i said i've been obsessed with, with the little mermaid since i saw it next is another holiday piece that's the theme here for summer it says it's a 50% recycled polyester product and they seem to be going for this primark cares range so 
hello focus on me so it was a four pound i guess you could call it wrap sarong multi multi-use product they've got all these pictures here of how you can use it um it was four pounds but i'm honestly just using it as like a holiday wrap like a little sarong and it's got all this i'll move back a little bit for this but it is it's multicolored, so it ranges from all these beautiful shades of orange, peach, purple, if you can see. Let me move back now. Um, so yeah, it's just gorgeous. I've not seen anything like this in anywhere other than mango, and even in mango it was more prints based. It wasn't like tie-dye shades of color, and it is quite specific. There are pieces I won't wear with it. For example, I have a blue zebra print swimsuit, which I will not be pairing with this, but I do have some simpler pieces, even a black swimsuit. So I could definitely wear that and have wrapped this around my waist, you know, maybe go to lunch um, on, cause I'm going on holidays, not somewhat soon, but like this summer, I definitely have ho more holiday plans. So I can wrap it around my waist and go to lunch, for example, at the hotel in a swimsuit. And I thought, you know, I better buy that Primark is so cheap, four pounds. It's gonna be one of those pieces that if I don't get it, I'll end up regretting it later. And I've honestly not seen anything as pretty as this color set um, in the whole color scheme of that piece. So I'm really glad I managed to find that. And that is it for Primark. Yeah, like I said, I didn't go too crazy. I just have one item from H&M, but it is a fashion piece. And it's this really cute hat. Now, I was planning on trying this on for you guys, but I'm sorry. I just don't want to have to pause the video and go and redo my hairband. It's just a simple, basic cap. I know that wasn't the best look at it, sorry. But it says Palm Springs. It's from H&M and it cost... It's now, I'm a little confused. I didn't say anything because it was only 9p difference. But it says here 9 99 but then when I paid it was £10 and 9p. So that's a 10p difference. But you know what? I didn't say anything and I thought, okay you know it's such a minimal difference i'm sure she, the persistent got it correct and that just happened to be the price in the system or matt maybe they put the wrong labeling i don't know i didn't make a fuss but yeah i did pay 10p extra than what it said on the label but that's okay because i love it i don't have any hats like that i do have a few kind of like baseball caps i think they're called so i have a plain black one i have a pink one but i don't have a white one and white can go better i think with so many other pieces i just like what it says i like the palm springs logo 10 pounds i don't think is you know such a large price that you would be concerned about buying something you'll only wear a couple of times but i do think i'll keep it for years and years and it is also adjustable at the back like I can see that at the back, because um, I did try it on in the shop, so I can make it a little looser because it was a tiny bit tight, um, but obviously it still fit normally. So yeah, it is adjustable, and yeah, I think that's a good price point. I, I think it's probably decently made as well, so hopefully it lasts me quite a few years. Now, one final, the final piece of clothing that I have to show you here, it's from Mango, and I will say here, normally their clothes are well made and quite beautiful, they look almost tailored, so I do um, understand the slightly higher price point. But I have noticed, um, it's nothing major, but like little th pieces of thread are coming out a little bit. So I'm just gonna trim those before I wear these trousers, obviously. But that was just something I wanted to note to you guys, that it's not a perfect item, but you know what? Pro Mango does amazing pieces. And I find that if I see something I really love, they never repeat the same item. They always have completely new items. Unless obviously you're buying like a white vest, then they're probably gonna redo it year after year. But like these are such specific, this is such a specific print. I knew if I don't buy it now, I might never be able to buy it again. So it's from their committed range, I think, which is like a sustainable range. These were the priciest item I've purchased recently, but they were 56 pounds. I will say it's worth it. And I got a size UK eight. Now they are slightly um, loose fitting. They're supposed to be more of like that flared baggy trousers that kind of are meant to cinch in at the waist a little bit. Even though they're a size eight, they sit more like hip length. Obviously this isn't like, um, you know, high waisted um, waist. Oh, what am I saying? They're not high waisted that sit on the waistline. They're supposed to be slightly lower, closer to your hips, but I thought a UK eight would still be very fitting um, and quite flattering, not too baggy and loose fitting, but just enough that it's still comfy, 
and as you can see they had full length and what really got me that I was so impressed with was the fact that they're long enough for me. I'm a bloody giant so the fact that these um, lengthwise were perfect on me was another sign that I just had to pick them up because I don't know when else I will find such a pretty gorgeous also, I'm in my Barbie era, so they're very fitting for like a Barbie themed outfit. <laughs> Don't, I know, I'm an adult and I'm speaking like that, but I'm obsessed with the Barbie film and it hasn't even come out. And I thought if I ever want to do an outfit inspired by that, get into my very like pink, purple, feminine vibe, this would be a perfect item for that kind of outfit. And like I said, the fit and length is something I don't often find on the high street. So very grateful I found those. And yeah, now one beauty item I have to show you. This is actually a little perfume. So I've, yeah, gone from like spending, you know, close to a hundred pounds on shopping to buying perfume from Lidl. And normally I only get like YSL, um, you know, Dior, like I do like high-end perfumes and that's like something I like to ask for as a gift or buy in the Christmas sales. But I have noticed lately I've been loving the dupes. I know Zara do a lot of good dupes, Mango, um, H&M, like apparently all of these are very similar to like well-known brands. Aldi might do even perfume, I'm not sure. But yeah, Lidl, I haven't seen the bottle yet by the way, so this is like an unboxing with you guys. But Lidl are known to, to and I've seen it all over TikTok as well. I need to stop interrupting myself and finish my sentence. They are known to do designer perfume dupes and this is from their Suddenly Fragrances range which I think is just their main overall perfume range and this is the Chaloux perfume. It's an Eau de Parfum in 75ml. I don't think they do de toilette versions but that's good because it means it's a more powerful concentrated scent. So the bottle itself, um, I'm not sure if the bottles are supposed to represent any high-end brands but of course this looks similar to maybe a Chanel bottle or something. It does look quite elegant um, with the lid on. It will look really pretty sitting on your vanity table for example. And yeah I got the Ch Chalou one. Um, it was, you guys won't believe it, it was like £5.20 and okay I'm gonna spray it on myself. I obviously smelt it in the shop and I did smell it a couple of times before I bought it. So the one item that was like the cheapest thing ever is the one that I contemplated the most. One spray of this is really potent, it's very strong. I did spray it on my arm in the shop, just like my forearm here, and I took a bath that night, a bubble bath, and literally coming out of the bubble bath, my arm still smelled of the perfume. I couldn't believe it. Like obviously I washed and everything, I was in a bubble bath, there were bubbles, I put shower gel in as well. I was literally sat in that bath for like 40 minutes. And then I came out and my arm genuinely still had a faint smell of the perfume. So I know it's very, very potent and strong. I can still smell it now, just that one spritz. And it's a dupe for Chloe. So I think it's Chloe by Chloe or whatever their original Chloe perfume is, that's what the dupe is for. Because I actually went to the airport and I smelt it by a chance. I happened to see the Chloe perfume and I thought, oh, let me test out. I don't know much about the brand. And I loved it. I love the perfume. It has this very, very clean, almost sweet floral scent to it. Not sweet as in like strawberry or a candy style scent. It's more like a sweet floral. It's very light, delicate. It's very, very summery. I'd say it's like a summery daytime scent. I absolutely love it. The bottle is gorgeous. 75 mil for like £5.20. I couldn't believe it. I honestly thought I had paid like at least £12. And then I saw the receipt and it said £5.20. I knew, I knew they were cheap, so I didn't even check the price. But yeah, I was expecting, okay, maybe they'll be under £10, maybe. £5.20 for a full, massive size perfume that's gonna last years. I thought that was amazing value. So, it does also smell like Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina perfume, and that's one of my absolute favorites. I think, I don't know if they duped each other, did one of the brands copy the other? I don't think so, but they are very, very, very similar. And this one now is a, a specific dupe for Chloe, and I love it. So go into Lidl if you're in the UK or with Europe, um, smell their perfume range, or go to like a larger Lidl as well. Um, I think you'll love them. They've got a dupe for like so many designer brands. So that I'm super excited about. Not that I needed another perfume to add to my bloody massive collection already. I am gonna finish this video with just a couple more fun updates. So these are, this is like a holiday haul, which I haven't featured in any other video yet. 
Um, and I wanted to just show you guys if you're interested. If you're still watching, thank you. So first is this beautiful coaster. I am obsessed with this style and I want to actually, when I go back to another pottery painting session, recreate something similar to this. It's kind of similar to like, I would presume this is an Italian style, like an Italian tile. Maybe what you'd find in the Amalfi Coast, Positano, or Sicily even. Like, it's just gorgeous and vibrant and summery. So definitely great for content. And it sounds like ceramic. I don't know if this is like some, I don't think it's porcelain, but it has like, almost like sounds like stone or ceramic. But then on the back, yeah, do you know what? I think it's made from like a stone. So it's, a, it's I thought at first it was like paper or cardboard, but it's a real coaster. It's made properly. I think I paid maybe five euros. It was definitely between three and six euros. So I don't think that's expensive. Oh, hello, out of focus. I don't think that's expensive at all for high quality design like that, that I'm probably not gonna find anywhere else. And then that, by the way, I bought in Pizza in Calabria, which is in Southern Italy. Like I said, I've got my holiday vlogs up if you'd like to take a look. Um, but yeah, I got that in a random shop there. And then in another shop, like a little touristy gift shop, they had gorgeous, gorgeous things. Like go to Italy if one of your favorite things to do whilst on holiday is buy souvenirs and kind of memorabilia and beautiful one-off pieces because Italy, their shops are just on another level. Um, I got this gorgeous, I don't know if the official term is it, just a shell? Can I describe it as a seashell? Just a massive shell, is it a clam shell? I'm not 100% sure, I think it might be in the style of a clam shell. Um, I might be getting that completely wrong, please correct me if so. But regardless, it's gorgeous, it fits in with that little mermaid theme I was talking about. The little Primark clip literally matches perfectly to this, so I need to find a place for this in my flat on display. It's so beautiful, it's like an iridescent, light, turquoisey blue, creamy beige, white design. Um, beautiful, very unique, I love it, and that was nine euros, which yes, it's a little pricey for, you know, just a random tourist shop, but for that item that I absolutely love, considering if, you know, Anthropology sold that in the UK, it would be like 50 pounds. And that is the end of my wool video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you watched till the end, thank you so much. Um, do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'll have tons more fashion or beauty or haul content coming up, and I will see you next time. Bye.